Good morning, folks. Good morning. It's 10.29 a.m. on December 23rd, 2019. 10.29 a.m. December 23rd, 23rd, 2019. This is the Word for the Day, Part 1, for December 23rd, 2019. The Word for the Day, Part 1. And we're going to go right into the Word of the Day. So last night at 7.10 p.m. on December 22nd, 2019, the Word Lord comes to me during a worship song that's playing on the Spotify account. I am the rock of all ages, the God of all creation. I have created everything, both heaven and earth. I am the rock of all ages, the God of all creation. I have created everything, both heaven and earth. This is found in several books of the Bible, many books, and we'll go and go each one of them brief, briefly. The ones I got that I found the Bible verses on. Deuteronomy 32.4 Hebrews 11 and 3 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Psalms 104, verses 24 and 25. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 4. Psalm 104, verse 30. Psalm 61, 2. Psalm 135, verse 6. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Romans chapter 1, verse 20. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. The Gospel of John chapter 1, verse 3. Nehemiah chapter 6, I mean Nehemiah, I'm sorry, Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 6. The 33rd Psalm, verses 6 through 9. Acts 14, verse 15. The Acts of the Apostles chapter 17, verses 24 and 28. The 8th Psalm, uh, the 8th Psalm, verses 3 and 4. And finally, Romans chapter 11, verse 36. So let's go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 4. Deuteronomy 32 and 4. He is the rock. His work is, his work is perfect. For all his ways are justice. A God of truth and without injustice, righteous and upright is he. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. Hebrews 11 and 3. By faith we understand that the world, world's were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. 1 Corinthians 10 and 4. And all drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Psalm 104, verses 24 and 25. Psalm 104, 24 and 25. O Lord, how manifold are your works, in wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions. This great and wide sea, in which are innumerable teeming things, living things both small and great. The book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 4. Isaiah 26 and 4. Trust in the Lord forever, for in Yah the Lord is everlasting strength. Psalm 104, verse 30. Psalm 104 and 30. You sent forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. The 61st Psalm, verse 2. Psalm 61 and 2. From the end of the earth I will cry to you, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Psalm 135 and 6. Psalm 135, verse 6. Whatever the Lord pleases, He does, in heaven and in earth, in the seas, and in all the deep places. Genesis, chapter 1. Verse 1. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Romans chapter 1, verse 20. Romans 1 and 20. For since the creation of the world, his, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are away without excuse. Proverbs chapter 16. Verse 4, Proverbs 16 and 4, The Lord has made all for himself, yes, even the wicked for the day of doom. The Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 3. John 1 and 3, All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. Psalm 33, verses 6 through 9. The 33rd Psalm, verses 6 through 9. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. 
He gathers the water of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, verse 15. Acts 14, 15. And saying, Men, why are you doing these things? We also are men with the same nature as you, and preach to you that you should turn from these useless things to living God who made the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all things that are in them. The book of Acts, chapter 17, verses 24 and 28. Acts 17, verse 24. God, who made the world and everything in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands. Acts 17, verse 28. For in him we live and move and have our being, as also some of your own poets have said, for we are, all, for we are also his offspring. Psalm 8, verses 3 and 4. Psalm 8, 3 and 4. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? Romans, chapter 11, verse 36. Romans 11 and 36. For of him, and through him, and to him, are all things, to whom be glory forever. Amen. Okay, folks and family, the next entry in my journal from last night is 7.12 p.m. on December 22nd, 2019. And I hear the word of the Lord again on one of the worship songs. Receive me, and I will receive you as my sons and daughters. Receive me, and I will receive you as my sons and daughters. This is found in several books I looked up. 2 Corinthians 6.18 Hebrews 12.11 Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 6 and 7 The Gospel of Matthew chapter 19, verse 14 Proverbs 22 and 6 Isaiah chapter 49, verses 15 through 16 Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4 Proverbs chapter 17, verse 6 1 John chapter 5, verse 21 Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1, and finally, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. So let's go to the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. 2 Corinthians 6 and 18, And I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. The book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 11. Hebrews 12 and 11. Now no chastening seems to be joyful for the present, but painful. Nevertheless, afterward it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 6 and 7. Deuteronomy 6, 6 and 7. And these words which I, and these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way when you lie down and when you rise up. Matthew, chapter 19, verse 14. Matthew 19, 14. But Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6. Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Isaiah, chapter 49, Verses 15 through 16. Isaiah 49, 15 and 16. Can a woman forget her nursing child, and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4. Ephesians 6 and 4. And you, fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and omniscience admonition of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 6. Proverbs 17 and 6. Children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children is their father. 1 John chapter 5, verse 21. 1 John 5 and 21. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. Ephesians 5 and 1. Therefore be imitators of God 
as dear children. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 9. Matthew 5 and 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Alright, next entry in my journal at 7.13 p.m. on December 22nd, 2019. The word Lord comes to me once again, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was, is, and is to come. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was, is, and is to come. This is found in three different passages of the Bible. Revelation chapter 4, verses 8 through 11. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3. And finally, Revelation chapter 11, verse 17. So let's go to the book of Revelation chapter 4, verses 8 through 11. Revelation 4, 8 through 11. The four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within. And they do not rest or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures gave glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fell down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Isaiah chapter 6, <coughs> verse 3. Isaiah 6 and 3. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is filled. The whole earth is full of his glory. Revelation chapter 11, verse 17. Revelation 11 and 17, saying, We give you thanks, O Lord God Almighty, the one who, was, the one who is and who was and who is to come, because you have taken your great power and reigned. Okay, folks and family, if you have a Spotify account, you can use your Spotify web player and look up the song, You Say, by the artist Rachel Nimeroff. That's the song, You Say, by Rachel Nimeroff. It's at this uh, link as well on the YouTube uh, channel. So if you have a Spotify account, I'll go ahead and post both links, the Spotify link as well as the YouTube link. Now let's go ahead and go to the next entry in my journal, 7.15 p.m. on December 22nd, 2019. And the word of the Lord came to be once more, saying, I have broken your chains and removed the yoke of bondage off your necks. See, I have done this, said the Lord of hosts. I have broken your chains and removed the yoke of bondage off your necks. See, I have done this, said the Lord of hosts. This is found in several books of the Bible. Several books, at least a dozen or more. Psalm 107, 14. Nahum, chapter 1, verse 13. Psalm chapter 2, I guess Psalm 2, verse 3. Psalm 107, verse 16. Psalm 107, verse 10. The book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 26. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 6. Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 8. Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 27. Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 5. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 4, Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 20, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, verse 29, Micah, chapter 2, verse 13, Isaiah, chapter 52, verse 2, Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 23, Psalm 68, verse 6, Mark, chapter 5, verse 3, and finally Ezekiel, Chapter 34, verse 27. So let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalm 107, verse 14. Psalm 107, verse 14. He brought them out of darkness and a shadow of death and broke their chains in pieces. Nahum, chapter 1, verse 13. Nahum, 1 and 13. For now I break off his yoke from you and burst your bonds apart. Psalm 2, verse 3. Psalm 2 and 3. Let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. Psalm 107, verse 16. Psalm 107, verse 16. 
For he has broken the gates of bronze, and cut the bars of iron in two. Psalm 107, verse 10. Psalm 107, verse 10. Those who sat in darkness, and in the shadow of death, bound in affliction and irons. The Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verse 26. Acts 16 and 26. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were loosed. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6. Isaiah 58 and 6. Is this not the fast that I have chosen, to lose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 8. Jeremiah 30 and 8. For it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from your neck, and will burst your bonds. Forders shall no more enslave them. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Isaiah 10 and 27. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck, and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 5. Jeremiah 5 and 5. I will go to the great men and speak to them, for they have known the way of the Lord, the judgment of their God. But these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds. The Gospel of Mark chapter 5. Verse 4. Mark 5 and 4. Because he had often been bound with shackles and chains, and the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles broken in pieces, neither could anyone tame him. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 20. Jeremiah 2 and 20. For of old I have broken your yoke and burst your bonds, and you said, I will not transgress, when on every high hill and every under every green tree you lay down, Playing the harlot. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, verse 29. Luke 8 and 29. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man, for it often seized him, and he was kept under guard, bound with chains and shackles, and he broke the bonds and was driven by the demon into the wilderness. Micah, chapter 2, verse 13. Micah 2 and 13. The one who breaks open will come up before them. They will break out, pass through the gate, and go out by it. Their king will pass before them, with the Lord at their head. The book of Isaiah, chapter 52, verse 2. Isaiah 52 and 2. Shake yourself from the dust, arise. Sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose yourself from the bonds of your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 23. Ezekiel. 7.23. Make a chain, for the land is filled with crimes of blood, and the city is full of violence. Psalm 68, verse 6. Psalm 68 and 6. God sets a solitary in families. He brings out those, he brings out those who are bound into prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 3. Mark 5 and 3 who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no one could bind him, not even with chains. Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 27. Ezekiel 34 and 27. Then the trees of the field shall yield their fruit, and the earth shall yield her increase. They shall be safe in their land, and they shall know that I am the Lord, when I have broken the bond, broken the bands of their yoke, and deliver them from the hand of those who enslaved them. Okay, folks and family, the final message at 7.18 p.m. on December 22, 2019 is from the Lord Himself. He says, I love you all very much. I want you in my arms. I love you all very much. I want you in my arms. Okay, this is um, the worship song I was listening to, Living in Freedom, on a Spotify account I had. So if you have the Spotify web player and the Spotify account holder, you can listen to the song Living in Freedom by Stephen Witt. I'll post a link to the to the Spotify song and the album, and also a YouTube channel link so you can listen to the song yourself. Okay, folks and family, that's it for part one for December 23rd, 2019, the word for today. 
So this is the Word for Today, Part 1, December 23rd, 2019. Everyone have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Have a safe holiday season. Be careful out there. Don't get hurt. Be careful. Be very careful. I love you all very much, and God loves you. Remember, Jesus is coming soon, very soon. Get ready for his return. Stay tuned for Part 2 of this message, Part 2, for the Word for Today, December 23rd, 2019. Take care of yourselves. I love you very much, and I'll see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.